Welcome to Madras 115, part of the COCC Madras campus. This streaming classroom has two televisions, two computer monitors, and two cameras, and is perfect for being on the sending or receiving end of a streaming class. Let's take a look at the equipment in this classroom. We'll start by turning on any monitors and the computer tower, and then we're going to need to activate the Crestron. We'll tap it to wake it up, which takes about 30 seconds, and then we'll select the PC option from the menu to choose which input we want. Next, we'll use the camera remote to turn on the two cameras in the room. We can use the TV remote to turn on the two room TVs. You can use the camera feed selector button to change which camera feed displays on your TV screen. We can use the up, down, left, right, and zoom buttons on the camera remotes to move the cameras around. The computers in this room are set up so that you can drag items from one monitor to another. Anything that appears on the right-hand monitor will appear on the left-hand TV screen, as well as on the projector. The right-hand TV screen is there to be used as a self-check, to be able to see what your students are seeing through the camera. Next, you'll want to sign into Zoom, either using Canvas or through the Zoom program installed on the computer. And before students join your meeting, you'll want to test the speakers and microphone to make sure that the ones that Zoom picks automatically are going to work for your meeting. Sometimes you may need to cycle through speakers or microphones to make sure that you find one that works, and that's okay. Here are the settings that worked for us when we were making this video. Now that we have students in our streaming class, we can use the camera feeds to either show them what is on the projector or to show them the in-person class to facilitate class discussion. Once your streaming class is over, be sure to shut down the computer and any computer monitors and turn off the Crestron system by using the Room Off button. Use the camera remote to turn off both room cameras and use the TV remote to turn off the TVs. If at any point you're having trouble with your streaming class, feel free to use the classroom phone to give us at eLearning a call. There also should be a manual somewhere in the room that describes how to use the equipment in the same way that this video does. If you don't see that manual, feel free to ask us for a copy of it. We hope that you enjoy your streaming class experience at COCC, and if you have questions, comments, or concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks for watching.